What's going on, people? It's your boy Andy for ASBN. I am here right now outside of the first annual Laos Festival outside of City Hall. You can see that right behind me. Everybody's uh, having a good time. There's food, there's performances. Later on, we're going to get an exclusive interview with the man Gumby himself, Asian American rapper representing live from Minnesota, doing it big. We're outside, it's nice and sunny. I got my Stunna Shades on. As you can see, my aviator's rocking them out. Uh, it's really sunny, actually, so I don't want to take these off. Otherwise, I would. But uh, we're going to go take a walk around and let's check out what's good. What's going down, boo? Between us, what's going on, ASB and viewers? I'm here with the man himself, Gumby, aka Rice. What's going on, Gumby? How you doing today? I'm doing good, you know. I'm uh, happy to be here. Um, San Fran's a beautiful city. It's a nice weather. See, we were blessed because two days ago I heard it was raining. You know what I'm saying? So I'm happy to be a, part, be a part of this. It's the big uh, first Lao New Year annual event here that's held here, so it's, 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 it's a history of making right now. Right on, man. So let's let's get right into the nitty gritty. What are you working on right now? What what we got lo to look forward to in the coming months? When it, as of now, I just launched my DVD as of today. It's sold on the booth over there because it actually right there, the booth right there, and. That's basically what I'm focusing on now because when you put out that DVD, man, it's a whole different ball game after that. Everybody pushing CDs, you know what I'm saying? I come at them like, hey, man, I'm pushing DVDs now, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's everybody have a karaoke machine at their crib. They want to pop it on, sing along. That's that's the way to go, man. I just, I, I'm not sure if you realize this, but I just saw a girl over there go like, oh. Gumby just like ran off in that direction somewhere over there and then she is right now she's talking on her phone so tell me a little bit about your fan base what are your fans like uh, you know it's, it's un I, you know I haven't been out here before so it's up to them to like really approach me if, you know like I say I'm not really you know a cocky type of guy so if they come up to me I'll, I'll be happy to like you know take pictures with them yesterday I was out at um I think Richmond at a Vietnamese uh, Thai restaurant called Champa, and I didn't realize that people recognized me as that, so I, I had to take a lot of pictures and stuff like that, you know, just because they came up to me and they recognized me for my work that I done, that what I put out, you know what I'm saying? So that that's a good thing, it's a plus, you know what I'm saying, for people to recognize me out here and be like, you know, sometimes I just want them to come up here, to, you know, just to say hi and stuff like that, I, I tell them I'm a cool dude, you know, I'm not a cocky type of dude, you know? That's basically it. So, so getting down to the nitty gritty, California is known for hypey music. Chicago is known for speed rap. What is Minnesota known for? Minnesota is speed rap also. Your Midwest, you know, like we got Twister coming out of there, Bone Thugs and Harmony. But now it just, you know, you got to be diverse. Of, you know, you got to like, you can't always keep it, you know, your, your, you, you try to get a new style out, but then you got to, you know, keep it like for people to like uh, understand you clearly. Come out, spit from the heart, spit what's real, and people will recognize you. You know, real recognize real, and that's how it goes. You know, they'll know you a real cat when you putting your music out there. And if you fake, they're gonna find out you quick because internet's a easy tool to you know to find out about people's background and all that stuff. So basically, you know, like with rap now, it's a lot of competition. I, you know, we got as much Asian people out there. If, you know, other cats don't want to support us, we got our own people to support us. And that's a, a different way to market our own product, too. So, we, you know, we can sell to our own people. Now, now with rappers like, you know, Jim, Magnetic North, Barry's Movement, all these cats coming up, you know, making it big. What do you what, 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 what do you think about Asian American hip hop today? What, what do you think the future looks like for Asian American hip hop? I think it's going to grow big. I think a lot of people is going to be like, you know, with Asians, man, we, we pick up on things quick. You know what I'm saying? I look at it like... We we already dominated the you know best dance group crew that you see on MTV three uh, Asian group won three years in a row and you know and with rap man if Asian people has been put in the game I think we're just gonna take over right on man 
Right on. So uh, you got to bring the fire to the stage today? Yeah, man. I'm, I'm going to do my best like I always do, you know. I've been here, so I'm going to do my thing in front of all these people out here. So yeah. hopefully they enjoy it. If not, all whatever. Right. I'm still, you know, here to entertain people. That's how it is, you know. I've been hired out here to do that, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to entertain them. Got any last words for the haters out there? Man, there's always going to be haters out there. I just tell them, man, without them, I wouldn't be here. And keep doing your job because you're making more hits on MySpace, YouTube, Facebook. That's how it is. And then I got hate mails coming out here, so we're going to see how it is, you know? I got my my my, my boys from Fresno came up here to, to see what's popping, to see what's cracking, so... You know, it's, 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 it's the thug life type of thing, so it don't matter. You know, but I'm here. I'm standing out here, so we just see how it is. But uh, we just got to peep it out, you know what I'm saying? Right on. Well, thanks so much, Gumby, for uh, taking the time. Really appreciate it, and uh, best of luck to you out there on stage. Same to you guys, man. You know, thanks for interview interviewing me, and uh, hope you guys enjoy the show, man. Happy New Year. This is Andy with Gumby for, live for ASVN, but we're not done yet. We got we got Gumby here with a special uh, presentation for y'all. Tell them what you got there. Yeah, this is the DVD I was talking about. Since y'all still there pushing albums, you know what I'm saying? You guys take it up a little, you know, a little, a little notch, you know, or probably. But yeah, this is full quality, man. Press everything, shrink wrap, you know, real deal type of thing. You know, you got to invest money to make money, so, you know, once I get on stage, I'm announced that everything's all over here, and it's just sell all the hotcakes, man. That's how it is, but yeah, if y'all want to cop one, man, you know, just go to MySpace, Gumby, aka Price.com, or else hit me up on the LBGumby at Yahoo.com, just email me. That's the way to find me, though, but this is it, though. Real nice. Back. And she in the video, too, so... I didn't bootleg her from anywhere. I've seen the video too. So if you don't buy it for Gumby, buy it for the girls, man. <laughs> the, the, the shirt, the Six Touch that I got too. That's my clothing line, Six Touch logo. And it's authentic, it's sold on. So it ain't press or screen press or hey, iron hey, on. Gumby, you don't make a line like you know this. This is pimping right Yeah, that's here. pimping. It's Gucci, that's, but it's cool. That's the true Laotian soldier right here. Yeah. Uniform here. Yeah. So that, that's how it is, man. You know, pick it up. Help support. That's how it is, man. Money go around. Right on. Take it away, Jimmy.